R. Kelly, who has spent the last two years in prison, is likely to spend much, if not the rest of his life, in a tiny cell. The disgraced R&B singer was sentenced to 30 years in prison on Wednesday, following his conviction on nine federal charges, including sex crimes and human trafficking. Prior to sentencing, the court heard impact statements from seven of Kelly's victims, including Jane Doe too, who testified at the trial. The victim recalled an incident when she was forced to perform oral sex on Kelly in a car full of his friends. The judge, who handed down the sentence, minced no words as she threw the book at the once-beloved singer. You taught them that love is enslavement and violence, she said. Last year, after a long trial that included testimonies from 45 witnesses, Kelly was found guilty of racketeering and violating the Mann Act. Throughout his career, Kelly was repeatedly accused of sexual abuse of young adults and minors. For years, him and his entourage led a criminal enterprise that recruited and groomed victims for sex, arranged for them to travel to concerts and events across the U.S. The accusations, which mounted over decades and grew increasingly, eventually spilled into the public view. Still, the singer who became a superstar leaned into his fame to mask a predator under the persona and to shield himself from consequences. His questionable behavior first came to light in 1994 when he illegally married singer Aaliyah. At the time, she was only 15 and he was 27 years old. In early 2000, Chicago Sun-Time published an investigation into accusations that the singer was having sex with underage girls. Kelly was among the most successful musicians of the 90s and 2000s, as hits like I Believe I Can Fly and Ignition Remix catapulted him into stardom, and he was credited with helping to redefine the genre. This was the status that gave him immense power in the music industry, power that he used to repeatedly abuse young women and children. Kelly's legal trouble over the years have reduced his once substantial $100 million net worth to the point of insolvency. Follow us for more pop culture news.